Winstrol old school pet. This is it. There's no question that this drug, Winstrol Stanozolol, is one of the most classic performance enhancing drugs known to mankind. In this video, I will present in summary the history of this amazing drug, the medical uses, some novel the pharmacology and structure and unique features of this drug chemically. Of course, the side effects and then the conclusion. Crash. The history of Winstraw first described in 1959, just like all the other drugs, in the end of the 50s into the early 60s, all these anabolic steroids came out, all of them. It's incredible that that's the period of time when all those took place. Sterling Drugs and Winthrop Labs in 1962 brought this drug to the market in America by the FDA. Later, it was produced and came into the American market as Winstraw V, the veterinarian intermuscular product agent. There's no question that this is one of the top most popular anabolic steroids known to the world, both an oral form and an intermuscular injected form, very unique. Both used by men and even more women, just like Anivar. This drug is rivaled only by Dianabol and Anivar as far as popularity and amount that's purchased per year, still to this day. The historic perspective, it's an amazing Canadian, originally Jamaican sprinter picked up a gold medal in the Seoul Olympics in the summer, September 24th, 1988. Hours later, disqualified. And they found in his urine a substance, Winstrol, making this drug an old school pad. Medical uses of this drug. Oh, there were true medical uses for this drug. As other anabolic steroids, appetite stimulant, and the ability to increase lean muscle mass, status post catabolic medical disease states, of course, that someone's wasting and someone is hurt and suffering, and they're losing muscle mass and they're weak and debilitated. Relationship to being in the ICU, intensive care unit, with severe infectious disease systemically, status post surgeries and weakness after surgery, cancer, malignant and non-malignant type, and again, like other drugs, postmenopausal osteoporosis for women. Interestingly enough, short stature syndrome of young children. This drug was classically used and marketed way back when for anti-catabolic agent status post prolonged corticosteroid use. This is, these are drugs, corticosteroids like prednisone, still today used in a rheumatologic venue with chronic asthma, and in severe diseases of the gastrointestinal tract, for an example, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, still used today. Of course, this alongside Anivar, but more commonly Anivar, used in the ICU burn center. 
This drug was used for aplastic anemia for its amazing effect to increase red blood cells called erythrocytosis. It's an erythrocytotic agent, as all anabolic steroids are. Interestingly enough, this medication was used for venous insufficiency, where you have problems with venous flow, mainly in the lower limbs, and you have ulcers. This drug has been proven in studies to speed up healing for ulcer healing. Angioedema of the oral mucosal surfaces. It was a drug marketed and used to some degree of success for speeding up and healing angioedema. Now, through the 60s, into the 70s, into the early 1980s, this drug went through different manufacturers and it was tossed around a lot as far as ownership and utilities and bantering back and forth with the FDA. But finally, in 1984, the FDA concluded there was insufficient data to continue the use and marketing of Winstraw in the U.S. market. So that year, it was discontinued. Of course, at that time, and even up until today, this medication can be used generically off label for these uses and other uses. And let it be known, I do not use this medicine off label. Pharmacology and structure. Like Anavar and Primo Bolin, this is a DHT derived drug. Number one, it has its usual 17 alpha alkylation of that carbon with the addition of a methyl group. This is for oral administration, enabling this drug to bypass the first bypass effect and being taken out of the liver elimination. This is what renders this drug liver toxic. Number two, and the amazing structural unique feature of this and other anabolic steroids are these specific changes, and in this case, to the A ring of the DHT molecule itself, there's an attachment of a pyrazole group to this A ring, making this drug now a heterocyclic steroid. And this is exactly where, on this compound, it enables and causes this drug to be so potent anabolically versus androgenically, that anabolic androgenic ratio. And this drug is three times or more potent versus testosterone. A very unique feature of Winsterol, chemically, as that it is very potent at suppressing sex hormone binding globin. I bring this to mind. It's been very interesting and over the years uh, as I've worked in the world of understanding steroids medically, I've seen this used by bro scientists, gurus, and physicians outside America. They use oral winsterol and they use it to lower a man's sex hormone binding globin that's too high and to review the physiology for a man that has testosterone that's carried in the total form and the free form, if you have too much sex hormone binding globin attaching and holding on and rendering testosterone inactive from the free liberated form that crosses the blood-brain barrier to have its effects on a man, that's a problem when you have too much sex hormone binding globin. This medicine as well as other anabolic steroids, will lower that. Now, the amazing effect is it does lower it in this drug, Winstrol, versus and also oral Anivar, another oral steroid, will also significantly and quickly lower that sex hormone binding globin, therefore liberating the free testosterone, potentially at that time making a man feel better. But the problem is, doctors, and agents of the world and gurus of the world, 
it doesn't last and there's side effects. So it works when you're on it and therefore the agent you're on, the additional agents, for an example, biologic estrogen of testosterone will work better. Or the man may feel better transiently, but it doesn't last. I've seen this, it doesn't last and it's too toxic. The underlying deficit or lesion physiologically for why he has an elevated sex hormone binding globin is not addressed, it's masked. So please don't use this for that effect. Side effects. Winstraw cannot be aromatized. It's not an estrogenic steroid. Obviously, secondary to this, it has minimal to very low ability to cause puffiness and water gain or minimal gynecomastia. So therefore, aromatase inhibitors and selective estrogen receptor modulators are not used or minimally used with this drug. This drug is definitely a cutting drug like Anivar, and it, this drug is a phenomenal strength drug. And that's why the likes of track and field and strength sport athletes that need to be super fast and strong with minimal added weight have picked this drug. It's a great cutting drug, and don't kid yourself, this is a strength drug too. Being a derived DHT drug, it already comes 5-alpha reduced. So there's no substrate for 5-alpha reductase. And these are the androgenic effects. So finasteride or dutasteride, classic DHT blockers, are not effectual. They're not needed and won't be used. There should be minimal to low male pattern balding or acne. But because this is an anabolic steroid and it is potent, we do see that those effects do happen for men and women, although they're definitely less than classic drugs like testosterone or even Tren or Decadroblin. Of course, it depends on the dose, the person, the length of use and the other drugs used. Liver effects. Again, this is a C17 alpha alkylated methylated drug. It's metabolized by the liver like all the other oral drugs are, steroids. But versus Anivar, which is should be, it's really not metabolized so much by the liver. It's the kidney. And please see that video. But this drug is definitely potentially liver toxic, but not so much as Dianabol. But again, the worry and the concern that I've seen over years of being an expert caring for men suffering with anabolic steroid medical issues. I see first transient liver strain with LFT elevations transiently and reductions back to the baseline when they stop the drug. Then we see, depending on the, the disease course and, and prolonged use, cholestatic damage to the liver. And then we produce further when you stay on a drug like this, especially the oral, for a very long period of time or even too long maybe even weeks, in a susceptible person. You see malignant damage to the liver with hepatomas and pileosis hepatis, as I've just described before in my videos. Interesting piece. Some people in the world have thought, wow, let me use Winstraw V. It's an intermuscular form of Winstraw and it won't damage my liver. The truth is we're not sure why, but this can be very damaging to the liver. The intermuscular form of Winstraw is also severely liver toxic. Interestingly, beyond these side effects, I see something that's very unique to Winstraw, and everyone knows this, who's involved deeply into this world of steroid use for decades. Soft tissue damage. For some reason, People who use Winstraw, I think Winstraw V more than the oral Winstraw, they can get soft tissue damage. They can get myalgias, achiness over time. Tendon ruptures. Everyone knows that you can get paradoxic tendon ruptures on Winstraw. It's this drying agent, they said, but we're not sure what drying means. It's not an estrogenic steroid, maybe? so it doesn't have that water retention, so you don't get that protection around the joints. Maybe, we just don't know. And then what I've seen is the anabolic doc. 
I've seen paradoxic neuromuscular permanent damage by men that have come to me very carefully. They've come to me. These are high level athletes that have gone and seen neuromuscular experts that have had biopsies and the biopsies come back. They have actual damage to the skeletal muscle on biopsy. And it's been unknown. I've seen very few cases of this, but I have to present this as something so esoteric and interesting. So paradoxic damage to the skeletal muscle. Men can, who have used this drug for a long period of time who are susceptible got weaker and weaker on more and more of this drug and other drugs. I've seen maybe a dozen cases over 10 years. I have to present that. Continuing with the side effects. Anabolic steroid-induced hypogonadism. Just like the other drugs, people use it because they think it's not going to down rate, down, shut down their pituitary, hypothalamus, pituitary, and gonad axis, yet it does. And it can massively, because it's still an anabolic steroid, it still is an androgenic potentiated steroid. Of course, cardiovascular disease is always there for risks. This medicine in the oral and the injectable form will debilitate lipid panels as the other steroids will. With lowering the HDL, increasing the LDL, I always talk about endothelial damage and clot production, potential for myocardial infarction, which is a heart attack, and early diastolic and systolic function, left ventricular hypertrophy, and heart failure potential. Please, all these drugs can do that. They can destroy your heart early. And in conclusion, this drug, among other anabolic steroids, is an absolute miracle drug. It will build muscle incredibly. It will make you bigger, faster, and stronger. Please understand, there will be a price to pay. Please, I hope this helps everyone in the world. Thank you so much. Dr. Thomas O'Connor here. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. And I look forward to bringing you more cool and interesting videos just like this in the future. Stay strong and healthy.